Hey everyone, Betty here with Shore Life Creations. And I bring you coastal decor more. Today will be coastal, will not be, well it could be coastal decor and more. So let's see what we're going to, let me find myself now. Give me just a minute. There it is there. Let's turn. Okay, we're there. Now we're going to find it over here. You know, I've got so many gadgets to sign into. But there it is. All right, so I can see comments. When you come in, say, hey, let me know where you're from. And we'll start this little project. I did a little bit of it before I started live because I didn't want to bore you all with the repetitiveness repetitiveness oh I cut myself of doing the th same thing over and over and over again and I don't think I have any paper towels or anything in here oh I do I do have paper towels in here so come on in guys let me know where you're from Let me know what y'all are doing this afternoon. I was sitting here watching Free Willy <coughs> on my Roku. And they were getting ready to release him. And I went, oh shoot, it's 4 o'clock. I'm late. <laughs> of course, I was sitting here crying. I cried everything. I cried commercials. I cried it all. Let me get this, my arm to stop bleeding so I don't get blood on my white ribbon over here. Because that wouldn't be pretty. This board is a unique in the creek board. It's the Christmas tree triangle board. They use it for Christmas trees and for gnomes and different things. And I've seen this done with the mesh. And they're really pretty. But I just don't enjoy working with the mesh on the boards. I tried it once. Wasn't my thing. So, this weekend, this past weekend at TDR, Dre, Dre's event, Lori showed us how to do this with ribbon. And I really liked it. Hey, Tanya. Hey, Debbie. Hey, Marguerite. You have workplace injury. I wonder if I can collect on that. Um, so, I said, she gave us the boards, Lori was so generous as usual, she gave us the boards and the zip ties in our swag bag, so I said, well, I have no excuse not to try and do this. So, this is my first attempt, guys, I've not done this before. How many zip ties? Well, let's see, I hadn't counted. Let me see. Let me count from behind. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 113, 114, 115, 116, 117, 118, 119, 120, 121, 122, 123, 124, 125, 126, 127, 128, 129, 130, 131, 132, 133, 134, 135, 136, 137, 138, 139, 140, 141, 142, 143, 144, 145, 146, 147, 148, 149, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150
you cut your ribbons, you use two and a half inch ribbon, two and a half inch ribbon, cut them at 13 inches, and these came from these boards to measure your ribbons with, ribbon boards, came from Lauren. Yes, I did. What did I say? 65, guys. 65 zip ties. And you can get these boards, the, the ribbon boards, from her Etsy shop, Beautiful Mesh. She's got different ones. Uh, she sent me the 14-inch, the 12, and the 13-inch. Makes it a lot easier. Alright. After you cut your ribbon, and I think they told me it took two full rolls of ribbon, 10 yard ribbon rolls. I'll have to let you know because where I'm using two different cuts. And the hardest part for me was remembering not to dovetail, but you cut them at a point so that you have points here pointing down. So it's the opposite way you cut. Instead of a dovetail, you cut a point. You're well, welcome. Excuse me. Welcome, Debbie. Hey, Barbara. Are you freezing? It hadn't stopped here on my end, and I've got the laptop, the iPad, and the cell phone. So it's not freezing on this end so far. Okay, I think I covered everything. Preloaded the board. Cut your ribbon at 13 inches. Make sure you have pointed ends at, on it on the end of the ribbon. And this is how we start. I fold to find my center. It's frozen. I find my center. Then I go up the middle and pull it like this. I think it's a Facebook thing. Thank you, Barbara. I, because I've been having issues with other people's lives, too. Then we put it in the zip tie. Make sure it's the same length as all the others on that row and then crank it down. Crank your zip tie down. But make sure your row is all the same length. This is all the same length and then this row should be all the same length. So that's what we're going to do to finish off the second row and then we will start with a row of blue. I think it's going to be pretty. It's not a traditional Christmas tree, but you know, kind of all about the coastal colors. See, pinch it in the middle, take it in your zip tie. Make sure you're at the right length, that you're in your zip tie, the right distance and then crank it down. And this is one of those things after you have all your pieces cut, you could sit with a TV tray and do it in front of the TV. You know, you don't need all the tools and things. Looks like bunny ears. And I think that is one of the main reasons Lori came up with this, not just the ribbon, but the whole ideas when she was having issues, health issues. She couldn't stand for any amount of time. She couldn't sit for in a regular chair for any amount of time. So this gave her a chance to lay in bed. No, the board is not heavy at all. It's very flexible plastic not heavy at all. It's lighter than it would be if it was a piece of wood. 
I got this ribbon um, from Texas Roadhouse. Um, Texas, yeah. From the event last weekend. You can probably still get it online at Ranch House Wreath Designs. She probably still has some online. So what's everybody up to today? We started off kind of chilly, but it warmed up this afternoon, so the sun was wonderful. Nice having the sun shines. I'm trying to get it get my head wrapped around what I'm going to do to decorate the she shed for Christmas. I know I'm going to have to buy some stuff, and I just I can't decide if I want to go with a gingerbread theme, you know, gingerbread house theme, or a snowman theme. I think if I go with the snowman, which I'm leaning towards, it can stay up longer for the winter. I don't have to take it down quite as quickly. Okay, that's the last one on this row. And like I say, guys, this is the first one I've ever done. When Lori was at Jackie's event, she showed us how to do the uh, flower, the round one with the flower. And I love Lori. She and I are good friends. But it was not my jam. I never finished it. I didn't like it. I wasn't happy with it. And you know as well as I do, if you don't like something and you're not happy with it, you're not going to finish it. But when she did this one this past weekend, I thought, oh, I do like that. I like how that looks. I like how the ribbon lays. I like all of it. Bye. I'm getting waved at through the window. Actually, he's being rude through the window, but I won't fill you all in on that one. Red trucks at Dollar Trees and came up with none. I don't know. I haven't been to look for the red trucks. It snowed. Oh my gosh. Keep that. I'm not ready for that yet. Not ready for the snow yet. You know, I like snow. It could snow on Christmas Eve. And then be gone the day after Christmas. And I'd be happy. I'd be a happy girl. Alright. I'm going to need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. White. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. White. 16, 17, 18. I think I need 18 of these. We'll start off with 18 anyway. Hey, Tammy. Hey, Nancy. I say 18, too. I can't remember. Squat. Two. Three. Four. Five. got caught with my chair on six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen Did I say 16, guys? We're going to stop there and see. We can always cut more. Buffalo plaid kitchen linens at the dollar stores, and none of them have that stuff either. Well, darn. I haven't checked my dollar store. Hey, Susan. Hey, Rabinovich.
All right. Put that over there for a minute. Let's cut our ribbons. Where I have to remember that we're cutting them backwards, not dovetailing. So you want this point. So you go the opposite way. You go from the fold to the wire to get a point. Like that. Then we'll do the other side. From the fold to the wire. Then you have your pointed ends. I know, I love that color too. I do too. Yes, yes, yes. And if I go with a snowman theme, I can use this color with my decorations. From the fold to the wire. enough of those maybe stick that over there stick that over there all right and we start again fold it in the middle Gather it, make ears, and then put it in in the zip tie and crank it down. Yep, I'm going to like that. So now we only have 40 some more to go. That's why I said this could get a little monotonous. Y'all watch me do the same thing over and over and over again, but that's how you make a ribbon. Christmas tree. I want to make sure my ribbon's not flipped up. And it's laying correctly before I cinch my zip tie down. But I'm loving this blue. If y'all would sprinkle the love, I sure would appreciate it. I haven't been live much lately, so I need to get back regular and get my numbers built back up, but I thought this would be something different for a change instead of the same old, same old all the time. 
um, SpongeBob. Go to Unique in the Creek dot com. They also sell them on Ranch House Wreath Supplies. Um, trying to think who else is selling them. And actually, they're out in certain Michael stores now. She got picked up by Michaels. And they're, and it's not in every state, but a lot of the states in the U.S. Michaels, there will be an end cap display with Lori Franklin's picture and the UITC boards. And I think from Rumor the Mill this weekend, she's going to be picked up by a couple more places here soon and selling. Stay tuned for that one because it could go pretty, pretty wild. Are they on Amazon? Yes, you have to put the zip ties on yourself. <coughs> Thank you, Tammy. <coughs> You're welcome. No problem. I would think if you buy it from Amazon, you're going to pay a little more. I don't know that. I'm sure that she shipped to Amazon so that it's Amazon Prime. But I would check out her site and compare the price to see if there's any price difference. I love the glimmer and the shimmer on this ribbon. I love it. I know there is a zip tie tool that you can use. Don't ask me how to use it because I don't have one and I've never used one so I don't know how it works. But it apparently does your zip ties for you and cuts them for you. Yeah, that's true, Debbie. Do I know if she's in Florida? Um, Lori lives in Canada. Oh, you mean in the Florida Michaels? I don't know. I had to think for a minute what you meant. I don't know which Michaels is carrying them. I know for my area, my Virginia area, there are areas in Virginia that they are in the store, but not my store. Not the one that's closest to me. When, apparently, when Michaels launches something like this they don't put them in all their stores from the get-go they just put them in certain certain ones but i mean it's in a lot of different store different michael's store now we're going back to the white on the next two rows Back to the white for the next two rows. It's all good. My hands start giving out because it does take some hand dexterity to put all these zip ties on and pull them down. 
that's why the tool, the zip tie tool might be a good thing. I don't know. I just, I don't have one. How many loops does the tree top or bow have? I have no clue what you're asking me, Rabinovich. Yes, Tammy. She taught us this at TDR. The board is called New Triangular Tree Frame. Yep, she taught us this at TDR. And she took one of the tree forms and turned it into a um, an angel out of this triangular form. And then somebody, one of the guests, one of the one of the girls out in the audience, got to go up on stage with her, and she worked on a using the ribbon a round poinsettia flower which was really cute. Both pictures are on my site, on my page, from what they did. It was really cute. And I really do like this a lot more than I do the mesh. I know there's a ton of people. Oh, Monkey did the angel. No? I don't know. I get confused. Um, Lori did the angel. One of them did the angel, and one did the tree. Um... I'm just not a big, you know, with messing with this mesh like this. I can do poofs and ruffles and all that for wreaths. But when it comes down to cutting your mesh for this and folding it or rolling it or whatever you need to do, I, it's just, it's fraying, it's on my nerves. But I have to, to say that when we were doing it at um, Jackie's event, it wasn't the best mesh to be working with. You know, I mean, she couldn't buy high-end mesh for everybody. So, that could have something to do with it. Just didn't didn't flip my switch. And, as always, if it doesn't flip my switch, I'm not going to finish it. I'm not going to enjoy doing it. What's her page? Um, actually, Debbie, the zip ties went faster than I thought, putting them on here, because I thought the same thing. I said, this is going to kill me, but it went faster. I was sitting here watching TV, and it didn't take any time, really, to put them on. What's whose page? Um, Unique in the Creek? She has a Facebook page, but she has her website, too. I always tease her that I get to say I knew you when before you got all all big and rich. Yeah, Lori's page is unique in the creek. She's got videos on there. She's got a ton of videos on YouTube. Alright, one more row of white, then we'll do another row of blue. I don't know that I want every other like that. I think I'm going to do two rows of white. And then another row of blue. So the blue is just peeking out. And it's got, let's see if I can show you, up close and personal. You see, it's got two holes together here. I'm looking at my laptop, see if I'm sure, okay. Two holes together here and two holes here. So your zip tie goes in, out, and you just kind of zip it part way. Then there's another two holes here. In, out, and then part way zip it. 
So you can tell which holes you're supposed to go into because they're closer together. They're matched up. So this has two. This one has two. This one has three. This one has three. This one has four. So on and so on. It, the boards are really pretty self-explanatory because I thought the same thing. I thought, well, I'm not going to know what holes to put what in. Or did she do every hole? Or did she skip a set? But, yeah. Once you start working with it, you'll see. And it gives you something different. You know? Just like everybody. We all get a little tired of working on the same old, same old. Now we need some more white. So now I'm opening the second roll of white. And I'm going to put it on my little spool, oops, spool holder thing here. Because it just comes off, rolls off easier that way. <clears throat> You'll have to wait, Deb. Deb Rabinovich, I already showed that. What? No, there's not. Yes, there's a zip tie in every pair, Mary. Because there's a pair of holes here, and then there's a pair of holes here. So one zip tie goes in each pair. Of holes and they're separated enough that you can tell which is the pair all right let's see how many more white I need one two three four five six blue one seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen blue 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Alright, I need 20 of these. My vet said 4. Or it wouldn't let me go live. 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay. And that still leaves some on that roll. Yeah, the the um Mevo when it sets up a, a thing like that, you can't sign in and go live before it hits that time when you schedule it. And don't forget, guys, to hit the um, the bell with the three little dots at the top to get notifications. I'll let you know when I go live. At least if you're on Facebook, it'll it'll give you a notice that I'm live. And let you know because you know we're not doing Manny Chat anymore. We got to do our points.
uh, Ranch House Reed Supplies. Check them out. It is item number RG014 40985 and it's just a white swirly glittery ribbon any two and a half inch ribbon will do as long as it's got wire in it any two and a half inch ribbon will do I saw one tree some I did was all in buffalo plaid ribbon that was cute Yeah, it might be, not be showing on this. I'll hold it up closer in a minute so you can see. You know, the, the light might be washing it out. But the event was very nice. We had a very good time. I met a lot of new friends. Saw a lot of old friends. I was very blessed to have been able to go where I won the ticket. Okay, let's see if I can show you the glitter part. Let's see if you can see the glitter in it. Because it is glittery. All the swirls themselves have glitter in them. Nope, I still don't think you can see it. But it is. Trust me. It is. It's one of those I guess you have to see in person. But I bought it. And I should have gotten some more. Because, you know, white is difficult to find. And you can use white for any season. Every day. Christmas, Valentine's, Easter, 4th of July, doesn't matter, white is a good one to have. Hey Anna, no worries. No worries, we're just doing the same thing over and over here again, so you haven't missed much. We still have half a tree to do. And again, when you slide your ribbons in here, make sure you're getting them the same length as the one beside it. Because you don't want your tree to be all jacked up and zigzaggy. And I don't think you have to be exactly perfect, but it's nice to get as close as you can. Be as close as you can. Hey, fellas. We'll see. We'll see how it turns out. Like I say, guys, this is the first one I've ever done. So it can't be rocket science. It's not rocket science. Thank the Lord. Fold it. As Rhonda would say, paint it, scratch it, and then make your little bunny ears like that, and then put it in your zip tie. You are doing great. Good. Hey, Catherine. Hey, Gary. What's happening? Gary's in the house. Um, 
I might have gotten this one off of um, Amazon. It's a 36 inch mat. Don't bother with the small ones, guys. It's a waste of money. You'll regret it. Get the bigger ones. Get the table size ones. And then be careful, because if you go to Joann's, they have one that's even bigger than this. It would fit on this table that I have now, because I have a very wide table. But your normal folding tables, it's too wide for it. It's too wide for the normal crafting folding tables or whatever. It was hanging off the edge and... So, I didn't keep that one very long. Hey, Jessica. Drink. I have my cup here from Jana Mae that she made me. Oops, wrong way. Thank you, Catherine. I appreciate that. It means a lot. Means a lot. Because when we start feeling like nobody wants us here, then that's sad. Makes it kind of hard to go live. You don't think people want you there. Alright, so we got two more white. We get to go back to the pretty blue. Yay for the blue. Yep, Jana does awesome work. I was excited when I got it. She also made the shirts for the TDR event, which were cute. They were blue. Our mine's still in the package. I haven't taken it out yet. I didn't get a chance to wear it there because it was only a one-day event and boy was it packed full that one day I have to cut these as I go because they get in my way thank you Jessica yes my name is on the, my business name is on this side and then my name is on the other side and there's also a crab right there for my logo and there's a big crab all the way in my business name it's a big crab she did an awesome job Awesome job. Now you see how that's folded like that? You don't want that. So I should have checked it before I tied off, cranked down on my zip tie. You don't want the back of your ribbon showing. But we got it. We got it under control. Yeah, Jana Mae, she does some awesome stuff. Awesome work.
it is turning out pretty. It is turning out very pretty. I may have to order some more. I might be hooked. I think she did a live the other night and made, not this board, but, well, it might have been this board. I can't remember. With yarn. She used yarn. I mean, she's really showing that the possibilities with these, these boards are endless. One more blue on this line. to the white but we're getting there guys that point's not very pretty make a prettier point I like the coastal colors the blues and the um, blue green color you know kind of seafoam color I like the darker blue. I like all of them. I like all of them. Now that one has a splice in it, so we're not going to use it. That really irks me when they do that. They glued it. They glued it. And here it is. What time is it? My clock. I can't see it. 4.50. And the sun's going down. It'll be dark before I get this finished. That's the one thing I don't like about the time change. Last night I went in, it was already dark when I got out of here, went in the house. Hey Lisa, are you taking a break or are you still up to your earlobes for the craft show? I did a couple of things for the craft show today, but I'm not trying to stockpile as much as you are for the show. Mine are, mine's are much smaller, and they don't want to, they don't want anything, well, they would like to have what I make, high-priced items for like 40 and $50, but I didn't have them. So... I made the Santa boots today, and what else? Another tree today. <laughs> it's this Saturday, isn't it? Hey, Vanessa. I do have the heat on. Mine's not till the following Saturday, so I still have time. Or the 20-something. I can't remember now. It's in my calendar. If it's not in my calendar, you can forget it. Because where I have CRS, I rely on my calendar for everything. Another low, 
another row of white 90s now it was in the 50s and then the low 60s most of the day but there wasn't any wind blowing so if I stood out on the porch on the she shed it was nice in the sunshine we're getting close to the top now guys Yeah, that's true. If I do any more of these, I'm going to have to get that zip tie tool. Because it is, well, I still don't have feeling all the way back in my thumb from wearing the cast. So it's really working on my thumb. Yeah, they have several on Amazon. One of them, I think, they were talking about is fifteen ninety nine, but they go all the way up. It's spitted snow. Keep that mess, Lisa. Fifteen ninety nine is the one I think they're talking about. The other one is closer to fifty dollars. All right, back to the blue. I didn't cut enough blue. I need one more, I think. Or maybe three more. Lord, Mary, that's not good. Don't tell me that. He told me the feeling would come back in my thumb. He said that was just a residual effect from the cast. Press it on a nerve. So that's what I'm hoping for. Susan, the, the board come, came from Unique in the Creek. Just go to uniqueinthecreek.com and she's got them for sale on there. Um, yes, I still have a little left. left. Well, the white I used a whole roll and I still have part of a second roll. I don't know how much. Probably used half, maybe. So you're going to need two rolls 
If you're doing two colors, you're going to need two rolls of one and one roll of the blue. Now, the blue, I probably have half a roll left, too. She said it takes two full 10-yard rolls. And I guess that's if you're doing all one color. But where I didn't do one color, it's kind of, you know, I use more white than I use blue. and But I guess to simplify it, you're going to need 20 yards of ribbon, no matter what colors you're using or how many colors. Figuring out of which color, that's up, that's up to you. You'll have to figure that one out. <coughs> that's my mind. I just kind of made sure I had enough. Two rolls of white I knew would be enough to do the whole tree. And where I split it with some blue, I knew I had plenty. Vanessa, I thought you wrote dildo instead of ditto when I first looked at that. I'm just saying. <laughs> you caught me off guard. I was like, what? What is she saying? Ditto. I thought, well, who's talking about dildos? What did I miss? That was a conversation I didn't want to miss out on. I'm not ornery. I'm just saying. I glanced up and saw it. That's what I thought it said. Getting close to the end. Aren't y'all glad? I don't want that edge to curl up. Make sure it stays down so the back side of the ribbon doesn't pop up on you. Now, Nope, and you won't see me use it on a live either, so there. In any way, shape, or form. I was trying to make sure I'm getting around the same length with my points. See how that slipped up? We don't want that. And I just cranked that down. So now I've got to try and twist it. And it twisted. But you don't want this flipping up. So the back, sh back side is showing. Say that three times real fast. Alright. Two blues. Yeah, no. Mm -mm. That one, Facebook would shut down really fast. We have enough issues complying with what Facebook wants here lately.
Friday. We have two more whites, and then all our ribbons are on. And crap, I still only have one more white. <laughs> still didn't. Uh, I must not even be able to count either today, apparently. And I'm making sure that all my mechanics here, like this and this on this side, are covered up. And guys, you know, if you mess up and something doesn't look right or lay right, just cut your zip tie off from behind. If it's already attached, just turn it over and cut your zip tie off and put another one in there. You know? It's no big deal. I need one more. Sorry. That was a random call. I get those all day long. that I don't answer. Alright, last ribbon. No. Oh. Yeah, it probably was. It was supposed to be two rows of white, wasn't it? We're going to leave it. I like it. We'll see. I think it's okay. I think closer to the top. I think it's alright. You're right. It should have been white. You're absolutely right. I don't know why I thought I'd done two. But I didn't. But I like it. It's alright. Did you, Lisa? Oh well. There's worse things. There's worse things. All right. Tree is finished. Let's take a look at it before I put my topper on there. What do you think? Yeah, I think it's a good mistake, too. All right. Now. For a topper, we are going to use this frilly poinsettia on the top. What you think? Because it's got all the colors in it. What did I do with my other? I need my bigger wire cutters for this. I might need up top since it's so thick. My stem cutter. So, how will we attach this? We could put it in the hole that's there. Maybe. It's a little wide for that hole. Or we could stick it here. Bend it. If I thought that, then I wouldn't have cut it so short. But, hey. Bend it like this. Okay, then slide it in like so, open it up, I'm checking it first for a hot glue it to make sure it's going to look okay, and I think it does, so we're going to hot glue it in there, hopefully without burning the bejeebers out of myself, and get some hot glue. I'm going to separate my ribbons a little bit. 
so I don't get glue all over those. And then slide this in here like this. Then let the ribbon come back over top of it. Let me hold it for a second. Hey Susan, long time no see, huh? Okay. Let's go back out. Now this hole that's at the top is for hanging. There's a hole at, a hole at the top for hanging. But, are we done? No. Because I think I want to add these little balls in here. Here and there. Let me see how that looks. In the white areas, we could add those. Thank you guys. Loving the hearts. Loving the hearts. So, if we put one here. i got to try and figure this out. Because this, this row here hangs down. I would say three inches before the plastic board starts. So, this is all hanging down on air. So, I don't want to glue one of these to ribbon only. <coughs> so, we may have to start up here. Because, you know, what's a Christmas tree without some Christmas ornaments? I'm not going to glue them in yet. Y'all tell me what you think. Do you like them? You don't like them? The boots? I did the boots today. They're heavy. But I did them today. The only thing I have left is to put a little red bird in it. I'm going to put a red bird over here on this side. The boots. Ho ho boots. You like them? You like the Christmas balls in here? <coughs> I didn't want to overload it, but I thought maybe a few would be nice. I don't know. What do you guys think? Too much? Not enough? I'm not exactly sure what pattern to put them in. Thank you, Susan. Hey, Vanessa. What do you think pattern-wise for the ornaments? I don't think I can hold this up now. They'll fall out. I'm looking at the camera, trying to see. What we need. Three. Connie, it she says if you use like one color. You need two 10-yard rolls of ribbon. So you need 20 yards of ribbon. Whether it's one color, six colors, just make sure you have a total 
If you like the three, like this, it's alright. These poinsettias also came from TDR <coughs> this weekend. Could have a mermaid on there. I don't know if I can get them to stay. They're heavy. They're awful heavy. But... We could really turn this into something coastal. Three in a row. Where you add them, then two, then one. Three, two, one. Okay. But what about if we do this and turn this into a coastal reef? I'm just throwing ideas out here. Because, you know, I'm all about coastal. We could put some coral on here. That's not the right color. the right color. You like that? With a starfish. Let me see if I can hold it up. Some coral and starfish. You know, I like to be different. Now, how am I going to glue this on here? I want it under the ribbon. Like that, I think. But I gotta get it glued to the board. So I'm peeling ribbon out of the way so I can get to the board. And maybe, maybe Is this even on? And try not to burn myself. A starfish with coral. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. I like it. I'm liking it. Let that cool for a minute. See what else I got in my stash. 
We have a blue seahorse. That's a possibility. Oh, I have a sparkly seahorse. So this one might be a possibility. With the pearls on it. Up top. Oh, yeah. Now i got to figure out how to attach that. Yes, the poinsettia is glued. It is glued. This is a figure it out as you go kind of thing. I'm not sure that's attached secure enough. Now, what am I going to do to attach this seahorse? Like this. I wonder if I can go through one of the holes in the back here with some wire and some I have silver wire here somewhere that would not show up as badly I saw that too. Oh, there it is. I knew I just saw it. Guys, that's the thing. Don't be afraid to go out of the box. Because you never know what you might come up with. And that's how new ideas are made. You know, new designs, new... Let me see if I can get this through here. I don't know that this is going to work, but, you know, you don't know until you try. So what the hey? It's not going to hurt anything to try. I'm going to try and weave this around the ribbons so I don't ruffle them, rumple them, and get them all out of whack where they're supposed to be. Alright, now let's try and get this through the other hole. Because if you can't get it on there secure, it's no need to put it on there. I'm just saying. Because then your customer is going to get it and it's going to fall apart on them and they're not going to be happy so wiring it on there is going to be the safest best secure way I have to get my rubbing straight again plus the seahorse is going to hold the ribbons down too but I think the silver wire is going to be camouflaged enough you're not going to see it. And I'm going to put it over here to the side. in my ribbon trying to straighten my ribbons out I'll hold it up here in a minute all right let me straighten my ribbons out 
but the blue one here got rumpled. We can't be having a rumpled ribbon. We have coral and a seahorse. Hey, Regina. Hey, Landa. Y'all are sneaking in on me. Can you see? So that made this tree coastal. It was just a Christmas tree. But now it's a coastal Christmas tree. I'm not going to stick any seashells on here because I would have to glue them directly to the ribbon. And I just don't like doing that. That's not a very safe, secure way to attach things. But this is your ribbon. Unique in the Creek Christmas tree. For a first timer, that wasn't bad, was it? It turned out pretty good for a first timer. Um, the zip ties. They are. She gave them to us in our swag bag. And it doesn't say, oops, oops, lost one. It doesn't say the size on the package. But they're little. They have the little heads on them. And if I measured it, it's going to be six inches with the little heads on them. Six inch zip tie. Regina, I, when I went to um, Jackie's event, Lori was there also, and she taught us how to do the lolly, I think it is, with the mesh on a round board. It just was not something that I enjoyed, so I didn't finish mine. I'm probably going to cut the zip ties off of it and do ribbon on it and do a, um, yeah, poinsettia in the middle. Do you think? Can, do you think can cut the ribbon 12 or 14? The ribbon's 13 inches, Rabinovich, is what you cut the ribbon. Why would you want to cut it 12 or 14? Any other questions, I'll try to answer. I do my best. It is now officially dark outside. Already. I wish I had something like a big starfish blue one to put at the top of this instead of this poinsettia. But I don't. Uh, no, I don't. I have these. That might be cute at the top. I don't know if I can get this off now because, I mean, I really glued that poinsettia on here. Oh, I take that back. Let's just see how this looks. 
because I'm not done frou frouing with it yet. Regina, check out Unique in the Creek, her Facebook page, and then check out Unique in the Creek on YouTube. Lots of videos. I don't like that you can see through this. Hmm. Oh, it's not going to be the same color. I have that big starfish. And I have a blue one, but I don't think it's the same color as this blue. Let me look. Hold, please. I do have a knobby. I have the knobby starfish. Let me see what color blue this is. It's kind of a blue green. It's getting colder outside because my heat's kicking on more in here now. All right, we got a choice of this one. We have this one, which has a lot more of the green with the blue in the middle. Can you all see that? But I think that makes it, tops it off nautical-wise, or coastal-wise. This one, I don't have one like this that has the blue in it. It's just pink. Pink and white with silver. Or, we can use the real thing, the real deal. There's different sizes in here. Something like that, maybe. It's hard for me to hold it and show you. But I need to put a little bow or something before I put the starfish on it. In the same blue, I'm thinking. No, I don't. I don't have, um, have what will match this. But, let's see what that would look like. If I did just a simple, because you don't want anything big. <clears throat> it's trial and error, but hey. Four inch loop. Just do something small. Wispy blue stuff. Wispy. 
I don't know what wispy blue stuff. What wispy blue stuff? I don't know! What wispy blue stuff? Oh, uh, this is coral. Is that what you mean? The blue coral? Yeah, I have some more of that. It would be nice if I could get the zip tie to work. My hands are tired now. A lot of zip tying. It's probably because I'm trying to put it in the wrong way. A lot of zip tying going on. Yeah. Helps if you do it the right way, guys. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm thinking while I'm working and you know I don't multitask well so I'm trying to think is this gonna work is that gonna work but we don't know until we try so we're gonna try And I'm going to put this, I'm not sure I put the zip tie in there the right way again, so let's flip it over. The bow is going right through these holes, so it'll cover up that gap there. Okay. The head of this zip tie will not fit through the hole. So, alternative. Because I'm trying to keep the back smooth so there's none of these knobby things on the back would hurt anybody's door. That's game plan. Oops. It slipped. Because this is just a tad short from what I'm trying to do with it but I'm going not gonna let it get the best of me it's not the boss of me
Okay. Now. Trying to get that tape. My hands were letting me fluff out my bow. Bring down my little tails over here. Just like so. Then we're going to put this right in the middle. And it's going to glue right to that zip tie. Just thought a small piece of that with the bow and starfish might look nice. Oh, thank you, fellas. I can add a little piece of that coral to the bow. Let's see, where is that? I'm going to have to cut this down a little bit because it's really too much, I think, for the space. Like that? What you think? Too much coral? Should it be a little less up top or what? Can you see? I really like it. I really do. I'm glad I switched gears and went with more of the coastal look. I'm going to cut this coral down a little bit. glue it in where I had it. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me so long. I feel like this project took forever. But that may just be me. Okay, like that. Now let's see if we can get our starfish stuck to the zip tie in the middle of this bow. Hold it for a minute. Oh, Mary, you could do this. You could do this. Now, if anybody's watching back there in the background, or if you're watching the rerun, the replay, <coughs> this will be available in my Etsy shop when I get done here. I will be taking pictures and listing it. So, feel free to go to Shore Life Creations on Etsy. Check it out. All right. There we go, guys. All done. I'll put a hanger in the back. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, Phyllis. I 
All right, guys. I hope you have a great rest of your evening. Um, do something for yourself. That's for sure. That's always a given. Do something for yourself. And be kind to others, guys. You know, make somebody's day. Smile. Ho open the door. Be kind to someone, a stranger, for, for something. Make them smile out of the blue. You know, it doesn't cost anything. All right, guys. I love each and every one of you guys. I appreciate you hanging out with me. And I may be back tomorrow. We'll see what I can come up with to do something else. Love you guys. Night.